Well, efforts to improve the salmon habitat along the American River get underway today. Now, Brian Hickey is live in Sacramento County with what officials are doing to restore the area. Good morning, Brian. Good morning to you guys. Yeah, we're down here right below uh, Lake Natoma. There's, of course, the Nimitz Dam and the beautiful area here. But this is kind of an extreme home makeover for the uh, fish habitat down here as they get ready to bring some heavy machinery in here along the American River. And uh, I, I guess this would, if this would be the living room for the fish, John, this will be the nursery over here, right? The nursery, yeah. <laughs> right. uh, yeah, we're going to build a, uh, getting ready to start building a side channel right through here for spawning, spawning and, and rearing Chinook salmon and steelhead. Um, so adults should spawn in, the, in this channel here, and then once the, we'll have the right size gravel for the spawning, once the juveniles come out of the gravel, they'll use the side channel here for rearing to, to get large uh, before they head to the ocean. And why do they need that channel as opposed to just tuning it out in the main line of the river? Uh, well, they can spawn in either place, um, but in the main line of the river, there's a lot higher velocities. Um, when we get high flows, gravel moves, so here in the side channel, things should should stay in place a little better and provide longer term spawning habitat, hopefully. And, and with the dams, the flows tend to go up and down depending on the needs of the, of the system and the, depend, you know, and the reservoirs. Is this going to help with that as well? Because I, mean, I know there's been times there's been concern of washing the young ones away. Yeah, right, definitely. This will this will help with, uh, I guess, places for young fish to go when the, when the higher releases occur um, and hopefully provide habitat. We're designing it so that when flows go down, it'll still be wetted and won't isolate fish over here. Okay. So it should work through a range of flows. All right, and obviously the drought assisting you guys with uh, getting this construction underway early. Uh, any idea how the fish are handling the drought? Have you been monitoring the situation? Uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife folks have been monitoring it. The water is definitely warmer right now than we would, than we would like. Um, so it's their juvenile steelhead in the river and it's kind of stressful right now for them. Mm -hmm. So we're doing the best we can with Folsom water temperatures to get the coolest temperatures we can in the river. Okay, and, and I should point out some of these areas here you can see they've got signs posted that say construction zone keep out. There are uh, temporary closures while they continue this work and uh, is it just for this part of the river now or are there other work locations as well that fishermen should know about? Uh, this is the only location this year. Okay. Um, we've done six other sites in past years but uh, just this one for this year. And the sign says through, uh, looks like 9-3, so about a month of work. Yeah, it will probably be done a little sooner than that, hopefully, but... Uh, All right. Well, you can see over here they got the big dozer in place right now. They just started to wheel that thing down here, so they'll uh, get it away with starting to dig that new channel for the fish. And then uh, a lot of work going on down here, but again, this area will be shut down for a little while right near the aquatic center if this is one of the places you like to come and drop a line in the water, shall we say. Send it back to you guys. All right, got a lot of work ahead of them, that's for sure. Thanks, Brian.